Welcome to HD Designed Crochet, HGDC. I'm Heather, the designer of Granny Square Patterns for my tribe. I went from corporate lawyer being told what to do to full-time self-employed crochet designer doing what pleases my soul. Now, I also champion Yarny Creatives just like you to build income streams from your passion. Join me on my mission to change the world one crochet pattern at a time. Good morning. This is how you'll find me most mornings, wherever it is I'm set up. That is my personal journal. Every morning I write in that, I write yesterday's achievements, my gratitude list, my brain dump, which is just everything that's on my mind. And then I do some Bible study. And then I spend about an hour each morning on the latest project and whilst I do that I listen to my latest audiobook. I'm listening to Six Figure Women at the moment and I write notes for anything business related in my business journal just so that it's easier to go back and find my notes when I want to. The pattern that I'm working on, my Kindle's there whenever I eat my breakfast which I've already had. Um, any meal that I eat, I read whilst I eat. It's just a way to keep me off my phone. Also means I get more books done. And of course, my bestest buddy is right here. This is Albie. And he's asleep. <laughs> and he keeps me company. Pretty much 24-7 at the moment. So morning routine of a crochet designer now that i have done my hour in my audiobook i am going to start my morning tasks first things first let's edit a vlog for the youtube channel
cream with all of these flecks in and you've got um, like a khaki, a mocha brown, a much more like tan brown and then one that you could even pass off the black in there. I didn't stop there because I also made matching mittens. Again, it's a free pattern um, by a different designer, but because I used the same yarn, it's basically made a matching set. Um, again, these will be something that you put on when we're going out and it's cold. Uh, one of the main things for me is that I love to take. Albie, who is our, our dog, um, on a walk and we go across the fields and I've already got a baby carrier and a baby sling so the baby can come on walks with us and these will just mean that they're protected from the cold because it can get really quite chilly here in the United Kingdom. So, matching mittens and booties, free pattern, super simple to make, a couple of hours they were done just so soft and lovely and I also made the booties in a couple of double knit yarns as well so as you can see we've got a cream and then we've got the beige that and I've also here's the second one I was using it as a reference it's the same patterns but just different yarns so you can see how different they are. It's the beauty of yarn. Um, and I've just been putting the mittens inside the socks, the booties, so they don't get lost. And um, I'm looking forward to putting them on. I am simple to throw in the wash, really simple to make. Um, these are so long. Or I have two left over, which is great because I want to keep one for myself. But when we pack them, when I say we, I mean me, my mum and my boyfriend. When we pack them, I'll be counting them again just to make sure everything is correct. Because I would hate to give them less than what they've ordered. That would be my nightmare. Hopefully there's two left over. And that is it for this design. <laughs>
This morning I woke up at 4am as you do, couldn't sleep, came down here for 5, had some breakfast, made some granny squares and added to this, which is my baby blanket. I absolutely adore it. Um, we are about to head to Ikea, so I've actually sat out 
the next row and I'm going to add that in the car and then I will work on weaving in ends. I'm really excited though because this is our new pram system and oh, they just look so good together. I'll take some footage to show you. Um, yeah, so stacks of granny squares. Next lot is ready. Let's do this. Thank you for watching this studio vlog. I'm gonna end it there because the next studio vlog, you will see our trip to Ikea and hopefully then you'll get to see the baby blanket on the baby cot and also what the yarn room looks like as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one for more HTDC.